Good day everyone. Let's start our discussion by deriving the formula in finding for the volume of a cylinder. Let's watch a video on how to find for its volume. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the volume of a cylinder and more specifically where the volume of a cylinder formula comes from. We'll start by going back down to the base of the cylinder, which happens to be a circle. And in previous years, you've learned that the area of a circle is pi r squared. But where does the pi r squared actually come from? So let's take a look. If we strip away the formula and begin just with one r, we can see on our circle that's the radius. If we multiply by a second r, r times r actually produces a square covering an area of r times r. So whatever the radius is times itself. And we can also show this as r squared, like we can see on the screen now. Also note that this is 1 r squared, which does not cover the entire circle. So let's add another r squared, which gives us a total of 2 times r squared. We can see that that covers about a little more than half the circle, so that's not going to do. So let's add a third r squared to the mix, and we can see we're covering 3 quarters of the circle and just a little bit more but we can still see that some of our circle, a quarter of the circle, is not covered. So let's toss on a fourth r squared. We've now covered the entire circle, but you'll notice that we now have a large square that is covering the circle plus an additional space in the corners. So 4r squared actually is an area that is too big to be called the area of a circle. We actually have the area of a square here, so it's a little bit bigger than what we need. So let's break this down a little bit. By taking that 4r squared and visualizing the corners that we need to eliminate, those corners have an area of 0.86r squared. And if I subtract those two values, 4r squared minus 0.86r squared, we end up with 3.14 times r squared, which is ultimately pi r squared. Later, in another video, we'll talk about where that 0.86 times r squared comes from. But for now, we're going to go back to the base of our cylinder, which is a circle. We know how to find the area of a circle, and ultimately, the area of a circle essentially represents the volume of a cylinder with a height of just over zero. If it is zero, then obviously the volume is going to be zero. Anything times zero is zero. But picture this, as our height increases to one unit, we can see the volume of a cylinder simply the area of a circle, pi r squared, times one. I can increase the height, and I now have pi r squared times two, pi r squared times three, and finally, we can sub in any height we'd like by simply using a variable of h. So our volume of a cylinder formula is actually the area of the base, which is pi r squared for our area of a circle, and then we simply multiply it by how tall the cylinder is. So we end up with a volume of pi r squared times h for the volume of our cylinder. The link of this video is also in the description part. So, in the video, we conclude that the formula to get the volume of the cylinder is area of the base times the height because volume is an area times width height. So, we have pi r squared times height. Okay, so that's a formula for the volume of a cylinder. Next question is, what is the relationship between the volume of a cylinder to the volume of a cone? Given that the height of the cylinder is equal to the height of the cone and the area of the base of the cylinder is the same as the area of the base of the cone. Let's watch a video on the relationship between a cylinder, between the volume of a cylinder and a cone. In this video, we'll demonstrate the ratio of a volume of a cone and a volume of a cylinder. We have a cone and a cylinder with the same diameter and height. The cylinder is filled exactly with three full cones of water.
the volume of the cone is a third of the volume of the cylinder. The link of the video is also in the description part. So in the video, we can also conclude that the volume of the cylinder is thrice the volume of the cone. And the volume of the cone is one-third of the volume of a cylinder. Therefore, we can say that the formula to get the, for the, the volume of a cone is pi r squared times h, that's for the cylinder, divided to 3 to get the volume of a cone. Now, let's apply the formula to get the volume of a cylinder and a cone in our examples. First, we have find the volume of this figure. This is a cylinder. And for the formula to get the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times h. So we substitute the value of the pi, which is 3.14. The radius of the cylinder is here, which is 6 feet. And then you double uh, the radius times the height, which is 9 feet. Okay, so substitute, we have 3.14 times 6 feet. Then square it times the height, which is 9 feet. So let's first square the 6 feet. We have here uh, 36 square feet. Then we multiply the three values, 3.14 times 36 times 9. We have the volume of a cylinder, which is 1017.36 cubic feet. So multiplying square feet times feet, we have cubic feet. Next example. Find the volume of this cylinder with a radius of 3 inches. This one and the height of the cylinder is 9 inches so using the formula we have pi r squared times h so it's easier for us to find the volume of a cylinder if we have its formula so we substitute we have 3.14 for the pi, for the pi and then the radius is 3 inches square it times the height which is 9 inches so we square this first we have 9 square inches then multiply the three values we have the volume of a cylinder is 254.34 cubic inches we have here a, a word problem involving the volume of a cylinder so we have a cylindrical water glass has a radius of three centimeters and a height of eight centimeters how much water does it contain when it is half filled so what we're looking for is the volume of this water inside this glass since this is a cylinder, we use the formula pi r squared times h. Then, we have 3.14 substitute, then uh, 3 inch, three centimeters for the radius. You square it first, so we have 9 square centimeters times 8 for the height of the cylinder or the glass. So this is the height of the glass. What we need is to find first the volume of the, of the glass itself. Then after that, after we get its volume we divide it into two since it says here that it is half filled so what we're looking for is just the volume of this water inside the glass and since it's half full then we divide it into two therefore the volume of a cylinder is 113.04 cubic centimeters so our answer should be it contains 113.04 cubic centimeters of water okay let's proceed to a uh, cone so we have your examples for cone. Find the volume of the figure with the height of the cone, which is 3 feet, and the radius of the cone is 2 feet. Remember that the cone is one-third of the volume of a cylinder. So if the cylinder is pi r squared h, then we divide into 3. And then we substitute the given values for the pi, which is 3.14. The radius is 2 feet. You square it first. Then you put their height, which is 3 feet. Then you divide into 3. So we square this first. We have 3.14 times 4 square feet times 3. Then we multiply these 3 values. We have 37.68 cubic feet. Then we divide into 3 to get the volume of a cone. The answer is 12.56 cubic feet. Next, we have the volume of this an cone. Again, so we have the height, which is 7 millimeters and the radius is 3 millimeters and for our formula pi r squared h divided by 3 so 3.14 times 3 millimeters to square it first times the 7 millimeters divided by 3 so we have 9 3 times 3 is 9 it's not 3 times 2 so you square the radius and then multiply the three values we have 197.82 cubic millimeters divided into three the volume of this cone is 
65.94 cubic millimeters. Next is a word problem involving the volume of a, of a cone. So we have the radius and height of a cone are 12 millimeters and 25 millimeters respectively. What is the volume of the cone? So the radius is 12 millimeters and the height is 25 millimeters. So using the formula pi r squared h divided by 3, we substitute the values 3.14, 12 millimeters, then square, then 25 millimeters for the height. Square this first, which is 144, then you multiply these three values first before you divide into 3. So 11,304 cubic millimeters divided into 3, the value of a cone, or the volume of a cone is 3,768 cubic millimeters. So that's about the lesson of the volume of a cone. I hope that you learned something from this video.